how entrepreneurs heal their inner child. So maybe you, you heard already about this, this term and this phrase, healing the inner child for a couple of years already. And maybe you thought for a while, what is this bullshit? It's not really tangibly helping me. It's some weird psychology stuff. And maybe over the last weeks, months, and yes, maybe even years, you noticed though, wait, maybe it's helpful, even on a productive level as an entrepreneur, maybe it's helpful to deal with some emotional baggage, psychological baggage that I'm carrying around, still carrying around, because it's affecting me, the way I feel, and also the way I behave, the way I communicate with others. Maybe I'm getting easily triggered and I'm getting angry in a certain situation, very impulsive, or I'm getting um, anxious or even depressed and sad, that there's still emotional baggage that I'm carrying around until today and it triggers, certain situations triggers that, and I'm not behaving at my best. I'm not as productive, I'm not as, as good in communicating in those situations. I'm more maybe withdrawing or being impulsive. Basically, I could be a better entrepreneur if I'm dealing with that stuff. And I'm already noticing that this is something I'm already carrying around for a while. In fact, I can imagine that it's coming from somewhere in my childhood. The way I grew up, the way my parents raised me, somewhere back in the days. And if that's the case, then inner child work might be very productive and very helpful. And I wanna give you a little bit of a big picture framework how this works and also especially why this works. So at this point, you probably, and we gotta distinguish the rational level and the emotional level, and you probably on a rational level understand fairly well, that's why you're watching this video, of what is going on. And potentially you've been getting annoyed by yourself, still falling back into those old behavioral patterns, those old, old emotional and, and thinking patterns. And you understand, oh damn, it's happening again. I understand it rationally, but I do it again on an emotional level. It triggers me, I can just, I can't handle myself. And you're annoyed by that. So also noticing your self-talk is very important in those moments. You're probably rather mean to yourself because it's happening already for years. You're probably really thinking things such as, oh, damn it, why are you not doing this? Come on, it's not that difficult. Like, why are you still in, in, in this way? Like, this is just childish. You're basically having a mean self-talk to yourself. You're just annoyed that you're still running around with those patterns. But also, if you take a closer look, that those this emotional triggers, as you said, and as you've noticed probably, is, is coming somewhere from the childhood. So in those specific moments, when I, for example, get hurt or very angry, you feel like this little child back then. And basically you are this little child in this particular moment. And then being so mean to yourself, be like, come on, like, what are you doing here? Don't be so annoying. Like, I'm still not getting it. Like, I'm an adult. Don't, don't behave like that. Having such a mean self-talk is basically you talking to a six-year-old or eight-year-old or three-year-old kid um, in that mean way. And does that help? Like, does it work? Does it work now? Does it work later? doesn't work at all. And you've noticed this already, you know, screaming to, to a little child and being mean and just acting out, it's not gonna help. And inner child work is basically the opposite. Um, I'm gonna give you actually a catchphrase here. A catchphrase that explains how you work out trauma in a sense. The word trauma is Greek, it just means wound. Um, so everybody in a sense has some trauma. And the catchphrase is the following. Healing comes when we meet our wounded places with compassion. You're not compassionate at this point. You're annoyed. And you're kind of on a rational level, understand it, but not on an emotional level. You're not compassionate with yourself. And you haven't met those wounded places in your past. You haven't taken a closer look yet. And that's exactly what you do in coaching. That's exactly what you do in therapy, that you're taking a deeper look. You're going back there. You're going to resolve this conflict that you had back then, those question marks, those feelings of being hurt, feeling helpless, whatever was there. And we work that out and work a lot with compassion and you building a sense of compassion for your child, for yourself when you've been a little kid. 
You can do this with a lot of visualizations. You can do this with a lot of insight therapy, talking, understanding, understanding the pattern of your mother and your father and what that meant and why you're carrying specific thought patterns up until now. And by doing all that, basically meet those wounded places. We go back there and we meet them with compassion. That's the big picture outline. It's then very specific. You can do specific visualizations. You can especially pick very specific situations from your past that triggered you a lot, really traumatic things that happened. And go back in time, in a sense, in those visualizations and meet your, your, yourself. How you're sitting there crying, how you're sitting there feeling helpless. And then meeting yourself very openly and with a great compassion. Yeah. There, so now it's getting more concrete, right? There's a lot of tangible tools. Um, and I pick the tools depending on um, the problem in a sense, you know. It's not just, I'm, I'm not just having a hammer and I'm just, uh, and everything is a nail, you know, they're different tools and you need to use different tools for, for different tasks. And, and I would like to explain it to you a little bit more in an individualized way. And if you're interested in doing this exact work and saying, okay, yes, I need to improve. I want to improve. And I know that there is still something from back in the days. I know that there is still something on an emotional level that I need to let go in order to grow as a human, as an entrepreneur, if you want that. And then I suggest that we hop on a free call where we just get to know each other. We just understand whether it makes sense from your side, but also from my side. Um, and then if everything works out and we notice maybe it's a good fit, maybe, maybe we should work together, then we schedule a strategy call, a full hour strategy call where we build your strategy, how you could overcome that, how you could heal your inner child and improve and grow and communicate better um, and basically self-actualize. And that's all for free. I'm giving this free strategy session away for free and then we can decide whether we want to implement that together or not. Yeah, that's basically the deal. You have nothing to lose. It will be extremely valuable. Uh, I suggest that you click the link below right now and you just sign up and apply for such a call. Um, and then there are no strings attached and then we can decide. But I think it's time to take some action. The fact that you're clicking on such a specific video, how entrepreneurs heal their inner child and you even watching until now means that there is something. It means something. It means that you need and you want to work on that. And when else do you want to do it? There, don't waste any time. You're already closing so many opportunities. Like the, I can tell the way you communicate in some situations, it's very clear. It's not optimal. It's making you not having very deep and profound connections. It's making you tangibly even losing money by not being proactive in some situations or by, by, by acting passive aggressive or proactively aggressive. It's, it's affecting your life so much. There's, don't waste any time anymore. It's time to work on that right now. And again, just schedule this free call with me. It's gonna be helpful already. Independent, independent of how we continue. Yeah, all right. I wish you a good evening. I hope this video helped in a sense, gave you a little big picture overview. And um, if you have any questions, comment below. But again, just book a call, we can just talk and then just figure everything out and I'm talking to you soon.